Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Asher Lim, and I'm a 13-year-old Singaporean boy currently residing in New Zealand. Today, I want to present to you my electronic eye test. I used this project in the Niwa Wellington Regional Science Fair and attained the top prize in my age group. Along with this prize, I also attained a special prize from the Optometry Association. Today, I am very happy to be able to share my work with the Wi-Bike community. Wi-Bike grew my passion for computers and I started my first course with Wi-Bike on Scratch and after I, complete, uh, I completed Scratch, I carried on with Python and I began thinking of the electronic eye test as a science fair project for 2024. Much of the aspects and functions from the Python Level 2 curriculum is covered in this project. These include the global statement and the basic setup of Tkinter. Aspects that aren't covered are statements such as deleting the text, configuring it, and replacing the text. The project works by having a letter on the screen. This letter will either shrink or stop shrinking depending on which button the user clicks. If it, is the, if it is the yes button, then the letter will shrink. If no, then the letter will not shrink and the program will display a dialog stating the degree of the individual's eye. At 20, 20, 20 over 25, which is deemed perfect eyesight, the user would not need to go to the optometrist and they would have passed the eye test. The normal, Snellen, the normal eye chart, known as the Snellen chart, is used in this project. I've replicated this onto um, Python Tkinter. Okay, um, I will start by running this project. This is the program. There is not much aesthetics to this as we want this to be uh, as easy to see as possible. So as you can see, there's a letter A on the screen currently now. If the user cannot see this letter without glasses and for their eye, if they cannot see it, then they will click the no button. If they do, they will dis it'll display a dialogue, but... Um, so we'll click yes. If they cannot see the letter, then they failed the test. They will be required to go to the optometrist and their degree is 20 over 200, which is the biggest letter on the Snellen chart. So if I run this program again and I, I can keep clicking yes, it will bring me to a stage where the yes button will be grayed out. This is used by tk.disabled as we can see over here. Now I will be forced to click the no button which means that I will not be required to go to the optometrist as I have passed the test. Now for the code, the entire program is controlled by the CNT variable which is over here. This controls the the font sizes and how it changes or stops during the eye test. So this is just the basics um, of setting up the window and all that. I have two functions in this program. One is the yes the yes function, which is linked to the yes button as we have seen earlier. So CNT will be plus one so that we can decrease the font size um, for the user. So these are the font sizes, 25, 17, 10, 7, 6, and 5. These are on pixels and they had to be rounded to integers, otherwise Python won't be able to process them. Mm -hmm. These, these um, statements are not covered in the Wi-Byte curriculum. This is to configure the text and the font size. The font size is disabled, is um, shown over here with the global statement also in it. Nice. The starting font size is 49 pixels, which is 20 over 200. Then it will slowly decrease, right. as seen over here. Then we will have to insert the text widget into the program so that it can be displayed and delete the text widget so that we can replace it with uh, another like letter. Mm -hmm. So if, as seen here, this is what I was talking about when the button the yes button is disabled uh as you can see it's tk dot disabled right. which means that the yes button is grayed out nobody can click it anymore now the no function is uses the cnt variable to detect when um the user has failed the test so they if they failed it at 20 over 200 the cnt will be one it, and if they failed it at 20 over 100 cnt will be two and so on and so forth so it's a good, it's a good um, process to comment in your code so that others who view your code will be able to easily distinguish what's going on. The, so here is the basic geometry of the yes button over here to design it. 
and the label to this to um display the results which is for example as we may have seen like you fail or you pass um and this is the initial display so and yeah that's basically it for the code nice nice so asher uh, this is really good you know i feel very happy to see you know you have used some ideas that you learned let's say for example tkinter uh, you know placing those widgets and so on and defining codes for those different blocks and additionally you have to also explore right you have to find some new things that you uh, you know which is always the case and which is uh, which is how we learn right so so how did you get this idea to build let's say an optometry app with uh, tkinter what prompted you to to do so um, in school, we've got a science bed system, so we will have to work for 20 points um, mm -hmm. by doing activities based on a, sci a field of science. So I started with um, optics, and I found that I really liked optics, so I decided um, to further go on with optics by creating this eye test. Which, nice. Um, well, the problem was that people in rural areas in New Zealand, there are many of them, many farms. Um, it may take an hour, even half an hour, to go to their nearest optometrist. So I made this program to um, rough, uh, give them a rough um, indication on how bad or how good their eyesight is without needing to go to the optometrist. And then if needed, they can consult further, right? Something like that. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah, very nice. And you presented this at the, as, as part of a competition? in. Uh... Yes, I did. I see. And uh, what was the feedback that you got? I mean, I know you won the first prize, so it must be great feedback, but was there anything yeah. in, uh, like... Uh, um, anything? Yeah. At that time, I was using Replit, so mm -hmm. they did tell me to um, switch because um, Replit crashed on that day, um, <laughs> That's bad. five okay. minutes before my uh, presentation. So that, that was pretty nerve-wracking. I had to create a new account in five minutes and everything. So... Um, Others, other feedback that they gave me is like we could do, um, we could add like astigmatism detection uh -huh. uh, in here, which is um, when it's a time when the eyeball is too short. So we could add it in here potentially as um, uh, advancement. Right. Yeah. So basically more features you could build in, right? In, in, yes. in this, yeah. Pretty interesting and, you know, really nice and um, well done. So, you know, other uh, what I liked about your project is, like I said, you, know, you applied knowledge that you learned to something in a different context. And that gives you direction as well to something that you enjoyed, right? Yeah. And the other point that you made about, you know, uh, let's say moving from Replit to, you now this is on VS Code, right? Uh, what you're doing. Yes. So how has that experience been? I mean, how have you, find, how did you set this up? Can you just throw some light on that? Um, yeah. So um, Visual Studio Code was relatively easy to install. It came with a APK file and the wizard. So that um, was pretty helpful. It took less than 10 minutes to install. Nice. But um, the downside of it is that it's pretty hard to share your mm -hmm. code. Mm -hmm. So you, you may have to upload it to like GitHub or something, which right. is pretty hard to get around unless you're doing like personal projects. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing is I found it pretty hard to try to deploy projects. Right. But um, a good thing is that there are multiple languages available with multiple plugins such as like yeah. Flutter uh, yeah. to create apps. So I find it um, a pretty good interface for myself. Good. Nice. No, it's again good that you have, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like there are many ways to do things, right? So one is cloud-based which brings you the flexibility to let's say deploy uh, to share you know all those things but then it comes with its own uh, let's say challenge of that but that's part of learning right that's, I'm glad that you you know recovered from there and you know I still think Replit is a great platform you know it offers a lot of flexibility a yeah. lot of a uh, lot of features right uh, so a lot of cloud base of these tools you realize that you can't do take inter on those right because they don't yeah. run that VLC yeah. server right so that's another yeah. so, like for example VS code you can run on the cloud using code spaces but yeah. uh, you know um, the peak enter becomes an issue. So it's a good mix that you've done. I mean, I think we just have to work out what works for us, right? what works for you, what works for me, what works for everybody, right? Yeah. But VS Code is definitely an option. I'm glad that you explored this. And, you know, like I said, you know, this could be quite useful for our students as well. Right? So, yes. so, you know, uh, very happy, Asher, to see you grow in this. You know, like you said, you know, it's nostalgic. We spoke, I guess, first time in 2021. Or something like that? Yes, I guess. 2021. Yes. 2021, right? It's 2024 towards the end, not starting of 2025. But you know, the, the growth that you have had, I mean, it's visible to everybody. The confidence that you are with which you are speaking, the clarity with which you are expressing yourself, the way you are exploring these tools, right? It's it's phenomenal, really, right? And it's all yeah. because, you know, all so YByte course, as you know, is very 
intense, I would say, because very yes. rigorous, right? We make you work, right? Week after week, week after week, keep you moving. You know, yes, there are uh, challenges, you know, there's, there are things which become a bit unclear, but with moving forward, we learn, right? So, you know, you've always maintained that discipline. You've always, I mean, so many of your projects are outstanding, let's say, on the, I mean, there are so many are on the, on the leaderboard as m projects and several are outstanding as well, right? So that shows that you've been always consistent, you know? I still show your, you know, the the your variation of Chrome Dino, completely different from everybody else, right? It's in scratch, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think your the other one that I very vividly remember is that Hungry Intop IO, which I was like, oh yes, yes, <laughs> very nice. It was that was probably the midterm project in the Python level one, if I'm not wrong, or, or level two, yeah. one of the two, right? Yeah. So you know the, the what I like about you is clearly you enjoy this, right? It's very very clear because yeah. you're exploring these ideas and you know you're on your own learning, right? And that's what we really need to do because the way the world is going, I think it's, this is more and more creative, right? And uh, you can apply these ideas to many things. You know, I'm glad that you um, did this here, right? And uh, since you mentioned about optics, uh, you might have seen, I, I, I'll share this with you, right? Um, they, they, I had done a tear down. So I do a lot of tear downs. So I open up things, old things and try to see how they yeah. are, right? So I'd done a tear down of a camera. You might be interested in that. I'll, I'll share that link with you oh, after this. Yeah. yeah. So how a camera works, you know, I mean, so a little bit of optics in that lens and, and all of that. How do you figure out the focal yeah. length of that lens and, you know, how does the whole thing happen actually? Right? So it's, um, in fact, I, I like optics as well because you can see things, right? Yes, can, yes. Yeah? So we are I'm also working on some other stuff with optics right now. So it's some common interest as well there, right? So good, Asher, you know, very good. Very happy to see you grow in this journey. I look forward to taking you further. You know, as I was mentioning to you, we are setting up a Python level three. Hope to see you there, you know, whenever it's available to you, whenever, let's say, time permits for you. But keep programming, keep going further in this. And I really wish you all the very best. And, you know, yeah. so proud seeing you grow in this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. So keep going. It's, uh, you know, like I said, 2021 to 2024, a lot of difference. And I definitely think Ybyte has played some role in that. Right. So <laughs> I feel happy about it. Yeah. Okay, Asher. Take care. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Vinny. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks.